Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing some more Inscription. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the final part. We're on part four currently, and we're into World 3. World 1 was Leshy's Cabin. World 2 was this sort of place where all the scribes lived, and that was like a pixel art style world with visuals kind of like how you see on screen now. But then at the end of episode 3, we got taken into a new scribe world, which was P03's world, and it went back to being 3D. This place is called Potopia, I think. And uh, it seems like each of the scribes try and take power, and this time P03, which is this robot, has taken over the game. It's really hard to explain, guys. So, what I would say is if you're interested in the story of this game, of course, go back and watch the previous parts of this Let's Play series. It's a really good game, but we're going to dive in today and try and complete World 3. So probably another two to three hour video. These are going to be very long videos. I don't know how much more of the game is left, but I'm really enjoying it. And I know some of you guys are too, so strap in and let's get started for part four of our adventure into Inscription. Okay, so here we are, we're in World 3, this is Potopia. And I don't know, we're on this kind of weird holographic board. Oh, we're trapped. Get up? No. We've got transcending to do. Oh. Are these are cards or are these things we have to face? We've got a sniper bot, double gunner, shield bot, an energy bot, and all of these run off energy. So I wonder if in this world it's going to just be the energy mechanic and we won't get the blood and magic mechanic. I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, oh, we click on the arrow to move about. Batopia used to be safe for travelers. Now, rogue bots block all the major roads. Ah, so this is going to be like a fight if we go this way. Can we do anything else? I don't think so. Looks like it's a fight. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's back to being like Leshy's cabin. Only we're facing this bot now. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Leshy could never pull that off. <laughs> He's got an ego as well. So I guess this shows us how much energy we've got. So at the moment... We could just put an empty vessel down. That just blocks. That gives us two block. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got this, which will do damage, but it can also move along the lanes. So I'll put down for now something just to basically protect us and uh, play on. Okay, that, that did its job. Oh, look, we take floppy disks, just like the guy found in the woods. Interesting. So I guess this is one of the sort of expendable floppy disks, and then this is like a good card, potentially. So I'll just take, yeah, I'll take an empty vessel. We'll put that down there. And now I should be able to get like our energy bot or shield bot on the board. Just put the energy bot down for now, like here maybe. Ooh, there we go, took some damage. But we now have lots more energy. I'm going to take one of these, a sniper bot, that could be really good. Oh, double gunner, actually. That costs six energy, we only have five. All right, for now, I'm going to put down the sniper bot. I'm going to take out this guy, I think, in a minute. So, yeah, we'll shoot him. It's actually quite useful. Oh, no, he's got sniper bot too. But I think now I can put down my double gunner which is really good. So I'm going to put him down here and we're going to play on. I don't want to shoot him because he'll blow up the cards. Actually, I might be able to shoot him because there's no card in front. There we go. Yes, we're doing well now. Take another one of these. Empty vessel onto the board. Shield bot down here and play on. Take that guy out. There we go. We beat him. Okay, this is actually trickier than I thought it was going to be. I'm sort of learning how this works still, but I think we've got it. The best defense of a bot. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate old bots. Add them to your deck, you know? Then they fight for you. Ooh, nice. So... We choose which one we want. Let's have a look. I'm going to take the exploding bot for now because it explodes whatever, you know, is in front of it when it dies. But it also can explode, of course, like stuff around it on our side. Uh, let's just keep going, though. This is like a maze. 
you'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence. Butopia has some of the most OP items just lying around. Ooh, what's this then? That will recharge all your energy in one turn pretty good. I'll take that then. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Sweetos, okay, we've got another battle then. So maybe we have to get to the waypoints in order to, like, you know, save the game. Hopefully it doesn't start us from the beginning every time we fail this time. I think I'm dead now. Yep, that's me wiped. Oh no, we lost... Boom, all your money is gone, great work. You want it back? Then get back to this spot without dying again. Back to the last waypoint you reached. Oh, we've got to play it over again. Just skip back to where you were, right? Not so easy. All the rogue bots in that area just respawned. Yeah, so we basically have to play each area without dying. Okay, we got our money back, guys, and now we can continue. Right, I think I've got the mechanics a bit more now, like I understand it, because you actually get, like, energy points when you attack stuff as well as each time you, like, spawn in a round. Yeah, look, we took the free uh, energy cells. I can't show you at the moment, but we basically took the free energy cells from that creature that we killed, or that bot that we killed, and then they appear here. So I think that's the mechanic here. A sniper bot could be useful, so I'm going to put that down here. And we're going to play on. And I'm going to shoot that, destroy that. Oh, that wasn't good. We got four, though, which is good. Four energy cells. I'm going to put an energy bot down and an energy vessel down here to protect us. And then we'll play on for now. So we took take some damage to him, but he won't actually damage us. Nice, and now we got the energy from them, so we can put down the double gunner in a second. Here we go, we'll put the double gunner down. We don't want to put it down in front of either of these, so we'll put it down here. And then we'll have to play on. There we go, nice. Oh no! That's a shame. Okay. Doesn't matter. We got six energy back, so we can put that down there. Shield bots down here. Energy cell down here. That'll like protect us, and we'll play on. Can't do anything more at the moment, so I'll just put down this here, I guess. This is hard because I haven't actually got any other cards. So I'll just have to keep putting these down and hope that we can win. It's going to be like a stalemate at this rate. Here we go. We should win now because we can have another turn um, and essentially just win by default. It was a slow win, but you know, sometimes that's how it goes, I guess. Right, we can get another card for our deck. Nice. What do we want this time? This one is really good because he moves around the board. I think I'm going to have this guy for now, though. Let's take him because I quite like that character. And let's go. The real best way to fight back those rogue bots? Modify yours and give them OP abilities. Ooh, so we can modify them. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that, it's an old computer. Choose a card from your deck. Man, I think the sniper bot could be like a really good one to be modified. You know, we get to actually pick what we shoot with this guy, so I'm gonna go with the sniper bot. Let's see. Oh, these are all the things we can add. Yeah, I'm gonna give him more damage. You're almost at the waypoint. Don't choke now. Hmm. Alright, let's see. What's he gonna do? What is this? Let's put some, like, blockades up on either side. Bridge rails. Okay, so we've got less lanes to work with. That's okay. 
put this down for a start and play on. Oh, that gives us two. There we go. Um, let's take another card. Ooh, an energy bot. Nice. Energy bot could be good. I'll put him down here. Let's go. That's good. That's what I wanted. Now put an empty vessel down here. Play on. Now we can put down our double gunner. Oh, but we need to draw first. Uh, I'll just draw a random card. Shield bot. Double gunner goes down. There we go. Let's do it. Nice. Let's take another one of these. Explode bots. Yeah, for now I'm going to keep it. I shouldn't have put the double gunner down there because it's shooting the bridge every time, which isn't really doing much. I just had a thought. Can I just not destroy my bridge rails? Like this. And, um, yeah, then once he destroys this, we can put a card down there and it just, like, starts attacking his side better. That's actually a really good, like, tactic. So, I'll put down the sniper bot here. And then I'll put down the shield bot here. And let's play. Try and destroy this guy. Oh no, he took out the double gunner. You douchebag. Okay, don't worry. I'll just put one of these down for now. There we go. Beautiful. That's nicely done. You made it to the first waypoint. Cool. So I guess we're saved, right? Bots that you've destroyed in the area will stay that way once you reach the waypoint. If and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. Nice. It's like a checkpoint. Yeah. It's an elegant system. Indeed. Seven bucks we've got as well. Uh, oh, money. Glorious commerce. Your robo bucks are accepted here. Oh, we can buy something. We don't have enough to buy anything yet. Okay, let's go this way. Eastern Batopia. Not much of value out this way. But you still got to explore here. You know, for the great transcendence. Ooh, okay. So another game of cards. Let's put the double gunner down here. Play on. This is going to be so much overkill. Look at that. So now we have $11. And he's not happy about that at all. Ooh, are you wondering about that star? You've been winning a lot. Now you've gotten a bounty on your head. It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die though. That's not good. We do not want bounty hunters. Let's flip these cards though and see what we can take. Ooh, a bolt hound. What's he do? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Hmm, that could be useful. He does need a lot of uh, energy to use though. I'm actually going to go with this guy. Oh no. The name's KC. Oh, it's KC from the Last World. And I'll be taking this scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kids. Great. Alright, well. Um... I've got five things to use. So I'm going to take this for now. Put that down there. Play on one more round. Okay, now we should be all good to put down the double gunner here. And play on. I'll be taking that scalp another day. Oh, he actually wipes him in one shot. Yancy Molester KC. Good. I'm glad we got him. So that was a bounty hunter down. Right. A waypoint. 
Finally. So happy. Items 100% charged. Bot spawners 100% offline. Oh. Lame. The power is dead on this old thing. I'll let you get up if you can get me a new battery. Alright. Thank you. Finally, our hand is released. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just get me the battery from the inspector meter and come back. Right, we're looking around. I don't care what he says. What's this? One damage and one health. Print progress. What's... Can I not do anything with this? Strange. Look at this room, guys. What's this? Mighty Leap, the card bearing this sigil block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, this is just for book, but it's now on a tablet. We can try and open these. Finally, we open the box, guys. That took me absolutely ages. And look, we've got the lonely Wizbot. We actually met him in the last video, if you remember. He was the guy that wasn't allowed to sleep in the mage's sort of tower. So we'll take that. He is, ah, it is, who is this? Stimulation, something other than darkness. Many thanks, do with me what you will. Anything but that, infinite darkness. Nice, we've got another card for our deck. He's not happy about this. He's like, what, what are you doing? We're gonna open the second one up. Hopefully this doesn't take me ages as well. Almost got this one already though. Maybe if we put that there. Yes, we got that one really easily. What's this then? Mrs. Bombs Remote? Sure, take it. Drop bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe. Don't be stupid about it. Nice, that's good. So literally we could just wipe a board if we want with that. That's really powerful. Oh, I left those things turned off. That's fine, just solve some easy puzzles. Okay. Rotate the sigil until it's upright. There we go. Nice. And this is quite nice and easy. Uh, that would be upright, I think. That was easy. That's how I like it. You know, easy puzzles. Look, we've got a security camera there as well. Can we click on that? Nope. Select all squares that contain cards. There you go. Is that right? Uh, I think these are all cards. Nice, we did it. Now we go inside. This is like his factory setting, isn't it? Wow, that's creepy. What is that? It's just like a creepy face. I don't know what that does. Ooh, the fish bot. It's the fisherman guy. Found me? Good. Robot fish, hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. Yeah, all these scribes basically take their revenge out on one another by the look of it, and they each get control of the game every now and again. And then they run it by their rules, like dungeon masters. Don't know what we do with this door, by the way. So we take the battery, that's what we needed. So I guess we go back. Yep, that's it, bring it over, he says. Is there anything else in this room? I don't think so. Here we go. Yes, thanks. And now it's working again. It's booting back up. That should do it. Back to the game. What's this? Ah, oh, this is like fast travel. So we've got all these different places that we can go to. We've only seen like two of the sites so far. It looks like there's one, two, three. I'm guessing four. Oh, it's the same map as last time. Look, this will be Leshy's cabin. That's for like graveyard area, that's for Mage's tower area, and then that place is... Well, that's the actual factory factory that we're in now, I think. So it's all connected, it's the same map as last time, that's kind of cool. I guess we just keep going. I'm going to go up to Leshy's cabin on that basis then and see Leshy. Revolting. Yeah, sorry that you have to see this. It's the area in Botopia that still has life in it. Or the last area in Botopia that still has life in it. That stinking, squirming mass of imperfection. I can't go to the cabin itself. We could go this way, though. Oh. This is strange. Oh, no. You came at uh, just the wrong time. This generator is about to explode. 
or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. It's a race against the clock. You'll see. Oh, great. Um, they've just got three health each. What's he do? When one of your creatures is placed in a space, a card bearing this sigil will move towards them as fast as possible. Hmm. For now, I can't really do much. I'll just put down an empty vessel there and play on. When my face says zero, you lose. Oh no. I'll take one of these. Explode bot. Do I have to destroy these? I, want, I don't know if I have to destroy these or not. It's a problem. Let's just play on. See, now it says four. I feel like we don't want to destroy this. This is a thing. So I'm going to take that. Put down a sniper bot. I'm actually going to destroy this because I don't think I want to attack these things. Oh no, he's still counting down. You're running out of time. Okay, I'm going to put this guy down for now. And put this guy down. And just go for it. We need to be faster. We've only got two sec, uh, two time, two, two chances left to fill this board up. Let's put down. I guess this guy, and just go. He has a fish when he fires as well. I think Come we might on. have done it. Fuck. Yes! Wow! Great! We did it. You recharged it before it exploded. If I could clap for you, I would. He doesn't look like he wants to clap. He looks quite annoyed, quite perturbed. But we did it anyway, we got past it. I think I get that mechanic now. I was unsure at the start. Some more bucks. That's good. Ooh, and an upgrade point. Pick one of your cards to upgrade. I might upgrade Fishbot. Let's have a look. Let me calibrate. Ooh, we could put hit. Yeah, let's put a death strike on him. When a card bearing this sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. That could be really good. Because he's actually got free health. Um, so now he's got that on the card as well. That would be really awesome. Brilliant. So he has a random perk and a death strike. Pick a random card. Uh, Sonia. I think that says. Explode bot or Grizz. Ooh. Now Grizz evolves over time. He's like a robotic bear. But he has four health. But zero damage until he evolves. This one also evolves over time. Now, it has less uh, health, but it's less cost. I think I'm going to take this one, because it's less cost to me, you know? I'm all about that low cost. Oh, what's this? Got a character. Oh, it's him, the prospector. This era of gold? I was just about to mine it. Guess all I needed were a kick in the pants. Oh, where's he gone? One of your cards is about to gain an alter ego as a beast. And you'll get to choose which card and which beast. It's not that complicated. Maybe the double gunner, that could be a good one. What do we have? Which beast will live within your bot? Ooh. For Wolf, that could be really good. Or we can make him fly. I might put the Raven on it, because then it will fly and automatically do damage to the other player rather than the cards every time, which would be like really useful. Hopefully I don't live to regret this. There we go, double gunner. Not what I would have picked, he says. Well, it's what I picked, so it doesn't matter what you would have picked, does it? The guy who used to live here was totally sloppy. I don't mean he didn't keep a clean cabin, it was his plays. He'd make misplays left and right, they're talking about me. Cared more about lore and flavour, again talking about me. Get it right, perfect strategy is all but matters in a card game. This guy's a douche man, he, this is like the most killjoy guy ever. Just let people play how they want man. I'm not the trader or anything. 
But there's going to be a little give and take here. You'll have to trade one of your cards for one of these. Uh, I might take this one, I guess. Okay, which will you give me? Hmm. Right, so what do we want to give him for this? You know what, I'll trade it for the Grizzly because that takes so much energy. This is like a lower cost. Only only slightly lower, but it is a lower cost. All right, what's this? We get to upgrade a card. Maybe upgrade our Explode Bot. He's actually quite a useful card that I like to use. So let's see what we can add to the Explode Bot. Yeah, I'll put the Wolf in there. Don't know what that's going to actually do to it, but... Ooh, that's, that actually looks good. It'll evolve as it goes. Yes, we've actually reached Leshy's cabin again, so let's go inside. Eerie, this Uberbot just sits here in imperfect darkness. Is it just waiting for challengers? Maybe it's letting its photos develop. Oh, looks like we have to fight it. The next boss is pretty cool. You'll actually need to think about your place. Whole new mechanic. Okay, where were those files? Unpacking photographer.zip. Oh, this is interesting. This lens is my instrument. You, as well, are my instrument. You will aim, and I will capture. Okay, oh, so this is like Leshy. You will aim, and I will capture. Well, let's just put a, one of these, like, easy-to-waste cards down just to get an idea what he's talking about. This is my friend. You will aim them and you will produce a photograph. Or you may decide not to. That is your choice. Oh, I see. So I can decline it or I can take a photograph of this. My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end you will see. Oh, maybe I should have taken a photograph when I had a deck of amazing cards. To use when you will see. I should have declined it, guys. I'll put down this, and I'll put down this. Play on. So three on the board for him. I'll take a picture, why not? Energy bot, might as well put that down. See, he instantly destroys it. Oh, but as they instantly destroy it, let's get the gift box opened. Now we got a double gunner. He's only got one health, that's a problem. Yeah, these are like insta kill. So whatever we put down. Oh wait, maybe I can use my bomb thing. Explode bots. Boom. There you go. That's actually a good uh, play. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay, let's go. Play on. Very nice. Oh no! It's taking out all my explode bots. It's annoying. Don't want to take another picture. Take another one of these. I'm actually going to put down my double gunner. I should have put this one down, it evolves. Let's just play on. I think we've beat him. Or at least we beat the first wave. You've dealt me a blow. You have. You have dealt me a blow. Recalibrating personality matrix. I don't know if this maybe just like reloads this row. But I'm just going to keep playing for now. With the, another double gunner actually, I'm going to put it down here. This is just going to absolutely wreck them. Look at all that. Boom. You already beat him. The two double gunners down. So that's actually pretty good. That's a good tactic. Just put loads of double gunners down. So it's open one of these. Okay, so one of the bosses is now down. Sweet. Nice. Lots of money. We've got a gravestone by the look of it. Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels? 
It's about to get less useless. What's he doing? Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Ooh. I might have a flight and shield one. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Yeah, that could be good. Interesting. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have mighty leap now. Sweet toes. So that's freed. We freed this vessel. I guess it was Leshy's. So now... Oh, memory card is full. What's that mean? Oh, we're going back to the videos again. We're going to watch some more videos. New memory card inserted. <gasps> yes, we've got loads of videos to watch now. Well, hello there, card gamers. Hello. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What do you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four Ooh. of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And uh, she would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by, right? Right, okay. Sure. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! He's a scammer. <laughs> He's an absolute scammer. All right, so he got the cards that we've been playing with. If you saw, we had Leshy on one of those, I think. So what's he doing in this one? Time to get the bottom of this. Hello? Hi, hello, is this Mrs. Hobbs? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day, and I... No! No, everything's fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me? Those... Yes! Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughter's? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? <gasps> she was killed by the cards too. Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so Or maybe sorry. she got trapped inside the game. Who knows? Oh, it was a while ago. That's still... Terrible. This is why I'm not picking anything up from garage sales that involves games. Because oh, they're always cursed. It's nothing really, I'm... I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. <gasps> Casey from a game! That's a lovely name. Who we've been fighting against. Sorry, what? She worked for Inscription? I mean, she worked for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Wow, right, so day. the Bye. daughter was one of the people, employees at the company. The, the person we've been meeting in the game, one of the characters in the game, and they were her cards, and it seems like she ended up in the game somehow. These articles mention death or injury. Oh my god. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire. Yeah, Casey operations. Hobbs. There you go. Boom. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. He's like, what is going on now? That's creepy. I wonder what his symbols on the screen mean. Oh. This is getting weird. This is actually getting quite creepy now. This is just an error screen. And we've got this one. Someone is here. I 
else in the other room, so if I die before I can call 911 and use this tape as evidence. This is getting really creepy and cool, I like this. Like found footage material. Ooh, we didn't quite get to see who was out there. And these are just error messages, I think. Oh, no, it was. That had something there. Let me see that again. What does that say? Blood. It says blood there. I can't read the rest of it. Perhaps blood. Does that say perhaps blood? I don't know what this says exactly. You guys can probably tell me in the comments. You've probably got the time to decipher this if you want. But that's very strange. And what's the final one say? <laughs> he's gone completely insane. Oh, and he's got the scales from Leshy's cabin as well. This is getting really weird, guys. This is getting, like, really deep. Well, I think it's time to go back into the game then and see where the story goes next. And here we are, back once again in the game world. So that was a weird video and the plot is definitely thickening by the second. With that said, I think we should fast travel. We've done this area now. Maybe go back to Eastern Batopia and travel down to the graveyard area to see Grimora. Ugh. This dank scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants grasping claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. Before we do that, actually, I am going to get up and have another look around this... Oh, what's that? The slime! I just saw the slime in the tube, guys. Moving around. Hmm. Oh, the skull! There's a skull up here. I haven't seen that before. It doesn't seem like there's any way we can interact with it. It's weird, because I can't interact with Eddie- Oh! He took a picture of us this time. I really want to work out what all the stuff in this room does, but I just don't know right now. But that takes our picture now, so that's interesting. Right, let's go back to the table and sit down then. Ooh, we've got another character. You wish to pass the ice? Oh wait, is this Casey? This is Casey Hobbs, I think. Well, I suppose I could clear it up. A little bit of heat should do the trick. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What a depressing abode. You have to be here to defeat the resident Uberbot. But I don't think you'll want to stay long. Okay, so he's got two creatures with low energy and low attack. So I'm just going to put down an empty vessel there for now, just to guard, and let's get started. Take another card. Sniper bot. We can't afford anything at the moment, really. Oh, we can afford the Lonely Wizard, actually. So if we put him here, he'll attack anything that comes down. And can't afford anything else, so we'll have to play. It's even Stevens at the moment. I'm going to take another random. This guy could be good. Put him here. He'll attack the other guy every every go. Let's play on. Ooh, he's tipping it back. We need like a really good card. Oh, we've got a fish bot. That could be good. Put fish bot down here. And bomb latcher as well. What does a bomb latcher have? One attack. So maybe put him down here. Let's go. Oh no, we're gonna get. Oh no, he's not actually gonna get shot. I was like, he's gonna. We're gonna lose him forever. We need some better cards. Come on, double gunner. Oh, we haven't got enough to use the double gunner. The sniper then. Sniper's actually okay, because with the sniper, we can choose to shoot this guy. Or this guy, then. Man, it's too close. I'm going to put the double gunner down in a second. 
Put him down here. And play on. There we go. Look at that. It's kind of tipping back in our favour. Your double gunner has evolved as well, which is really good. Explode bot, I don't want that. I'm going to put this guy down. There we go, we've won. Right, now we can move on. There's a well, nice. What's that? I have no idea what that was. Anything else? Yeah, money. $34 now. Okay, there's nothing else in there. Ooh, we've got a locked door here. We're in like this crypt area. Ooh, where did you get that? That's the key we picked up from the second world, the secret key. So we can unlock it, so this is a secret. Nice. Oh, here's that thing again. You found me here, so you wish to know more. I have meditated deeply on the old data. I will impart my insights, but you mustn't record them. Well, I am recording them for the Let's Play, so... What the fuck, man? That is everything I know. Oh, so the guy got to watch it, but we didn't. But I wonder if that will change the ending now. Like, and we'll see, like, that guy will tell us, like, what he's learnt from it. <laughs> Holy sh... So he was really surprised. We don't get to see that cool information, that's annoying. It better tie into the story and get, give us, like, a better ending or something. Oh, well. Let's go up, then. What's this? You have brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Right, is this the boss room? Nope, but it's a safe point. Ah, oh, this is the boss. There it is, the uberbot you sought. These idiotic librarians worship it as it sits here covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? I guess so. Oh look, it's boss time. Unpacking archives. Applying personality matrix. Cleaning up some temporary files. Okay, here we go. Ah, greetings. If you had not gleaned it from the title on my zip file, I am the archivist. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Well, we don't have one. We're like, we're human, man. Do you mean our brain? Files and directions are my speciality, you'll see. Each of these is a death card, so that's not good. So for now, we don't want to put anything down that these can strike at. Apart from this empty vessel, we can put that down. Oh, the gift bot we can put down as well, actually, because it will instantly kill it and give us a gift. So all of his cards are just death cards. I get it. I'm going to put the gift down here. And we'll play on. Oh, nice fish bot. That's a death card as well. What I think I'll do for now is start getting some damage on this guy. We'll put down a flying enemy here because that will generate damage each turn and nothing in front of it will ever damage it. And I'm also going to replenish my uh, power so that we can put down a secondary thing. I'm going to put down this one here to protect us. And let's play. Nice. We got a B. Let's take another card. We'll put down him there. No, I didn't want to put him down there. Oh, no. And we'll put down the B there. And play on. Okay, we gained a little bit back. Okay. Damn it. We lost our card, that's not good. Hmm. 
Take another card. We've got enough to use him as well. The Quill card. I'm going to put him down here. He'll eventually destroy his tombstone and give us some more damage there. Wait. Permission request. Grant inscription exe permission to access your hard drive. Uh, do I give it access? Alright, gone then. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, do recommend an exemplary file to me. And do not take into account its size. Its magnitude is bulk. Oh, we're actually on my computer screen. No way. Do you know what I might do, guys? I might go to Steam and put in inscription into this. Inscription.exe. Wow, be careful with that one. Hmm. That file demands attention. So we've actually put the inscription game file down on here in my Steam drive. It appears to weigh in at around 2 damage. Bravo. Not only does 2 damage, but fair, that was pretty good still. Again, do choose a file. Its file size will be paramount. So there we go. My word, that file it is. I may say it's colossal. Bravo. Now, go along and select a file. Recall that its vastness is your objective. A small file, but I do suppose respectable. A single point of damage is what it's worth. Okay. So anyway, we beat him. Please select a file. I have to keep selecting files. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. And one that shows age. Okay, under my YouTube, I'm going to go to Super Horror Bro Art Assets, and I'm going to go with the oldest one, which is like... These are all new though, because I've copied them onto my new computer, but they're not originally that new. I'm going to go with the Super Horror Bro thumbnail. Look, I put it on there! This! Do enlighten me. What was this doing on your hard drive? Think not of it. Let us continue. That's cool that it showed the Super Horror Bro logo. Hey, now let's place that file in a card. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, I will delete the file from your disk. No! That's my Super Horror Bro file, man. Please do not tempt me. I am completely serious. Shall we see what that looks like? Super Horror Bro thumbnail.png. That's hilarious. Did you create this file yesterday? It is to be perfectly frank, Juvenile, I didn't create it yesterday, I created it years ago, this is on a new computer, I copied it across to this computer. <laughs> one of one are the correct stats for this infant file. Alright. Well, I just won't play that, I don't want that file to be deleted. Let's have a look, we'll put him down here, and we'll put a sniper bot down here, and play on. Ah, uh, there we go. Hey wait, you can see the Super Horror Bro file on the screen. Look guys, that's actually really cool. You can see Super Horror Bro on the screen over there. Alright, let's go. Nice, I think we've won. Yes, we beat him. I thought I had you. Oh well. You made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess. And you're lucky. Yeah, well, I didn't want Super Horror Bro Thumbnail to die. That's a cool boss. I don't know how much of that I can show you, because I would be showing you my private files on my computer, but, like, I'll show you as much as I can, guys. Now, what can we build? What can we upgrade? What's this all about? Oh, it's something we get to stamp on all of our cards. That could be good. That gives us one energy. I'm going to actually go with that. That'd be really useful. It means every time we put down uh, an empty vessel, it gives us an extra energy. So I guess we're traveling back to the midpoint, and then we're going over to do this side next. Let's see if we can spend some of this money now. Ooh. Upgrade a card to an animal card. What's this? I don't know what we just bought. Gives nano armor to your bots on the board. Decent. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. 
Let's go up. Oh, we got another character. It's fixed. You can go on your merry way. Thanks. Some more money? What? You're not so merry? Being a pawn in this petulant androids plot isn't doing it for you? Reloading personality matrix. It's fixed. <laughs> what is it? What do you want? I am merely an inspector. And you've given me a lot of files to inspect. You wish to pass through this gate? Try inspecting the satellite dish at the foot of a wizard tower. Ah, uh, so we're going to come back here later. Okay, let's head down and see what lies around here. Yep, oh no. Yep, I forgot a piece. You have legs, stand up and get it. It's in the smelter room floating above the smelting machine. I can't let you go further until I have it. So we need to find another piece of this board, okay. The smelter room. Have we been to the smelter room? Oh, he's opened the door, nice. We've got books up here now. Very strange. Oh. Yeah, this is a new room. There's the slime again. Greetings. The pain. Bearable. The pressure of these pipes surrounding me feels nice. That and the knowledge that the master is near. Oh yes, the master. I feel his presence. That robot will rue the day. Okay, so he's just kind of stuck in his pipe at the moment. Ooh. Wait a second, this is one of those puzzles again. What is it though? How, what do we do to, to open it? How do we work that out? Don't know what that is. It's flashing like the cabin door did. Enter the correct sum. 2 plus 7 plus 3. So that'll be 10, 11, 12. Let's have a look. 2 plus 4 minus 4. Does this mean two each way. So it'd be four plus four minus four is four. Enter the correct sum. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think it's eleven. But I don't know guys. Yes, we got it. Man, that was really scrambling my brain then. So we, we did that. Do we have to do the other screen as well? Select all applicable emotions for following scenarios. You draw your energy bot, you have full energy. Oh, that would be a, a sad face because you can't use any more energy. Oh, there we go. You have to select both of them. You're about to die from an insector drone. You draw an LPP bot. I can't ever pronounce that. But I guess that's a good thing, so maybe these ones? You successfully perform Great Transcendence. Well, we only get one option. There we go, nice. Okay, so we can go across to the middle bit. What's this? Was this the thing we needed? Which sigil is represented? I think, there we go, we got it. That took me a few tries. Waiting for network. So this one can't be loaded up at the moment. There we go, we've given him the item. He says, yep, good. Let's attach it. Ooh, oh, we're getting magic back. This thing lights up when you have gem vessel cards in play. Your empty vessels are now filled with gems. Check it out. Ah, oh, I see. You can change the colour of the gems you draw from your side deck. Try it, press 1. Ah, I see. That's kind of cool. So we've got all our gems now. So it's incorporating magic back in, my least favourite mechanic. You'll pick a card now and I'll gemify it. From then on, having a green gem will increase its health. Having an orange gem will increase its power, and having a blue gem will lower its energy cost. You'll see. Ah, you know what? I might actually want to lower the energy cost of some of these. But first, 
I think I'm going to actually put our gunner and make him more powerful. Let me calibrate. Yeah, I want him to be more powerful. Like that. So I'm happy with that. There we go. See those things in the corners? They light up when you have the right gems. You'll see. Alright. Thanks, my guy. Let's go to the next area then. Some more bucks. What's this guy saying? Or woman, I should say. Ho, oh, a traveller. This is the head on a stick we found in the Mage's Tower. These parts do not see many. You wish to pass these blades? Fine. Oh, nice. She just opened it. Is that easy? Right, across the bridge we go then. Time for a boss fight. Well, it's not a boss fight. I call these boss fights, but they're just like bridge fights. They're just a bit harder than the regular ones because you've got less of a plane to work on. Two damage from a shield bot to start with. Hmm. I guess I'll put this down just to protect us. I'm going to draw a sapphire vessel. Have we got any cards that need that? don't think so. I'm going to put the lonely wizard down. And I'll put the sapphire vessel down here just to protect us as well. Let's go. So we didn't take any damage on that go, which is really good. I'm going to put this one down here. We want something low cost to destroy that so that when it gets wiped out it also destroys these two either side of it. Hopefully I'm not going to die. Not yet. Right, double gunner. So what I think I'll do is put the double gunner down here and hopefully this works. Yep, nice. It worked like a charm. We got taken out, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to put the ball town down. And we'll play on. Ooh. Okay, this isn't going as well as I'd hoped it would go. Sniper. Boom. Nice. Got a double gunner coming down though, which is not so good. Gem Guardian. Uh, Skelly Latcher. What does Skelly Latcher do again? Oh, nice. We can put the Brittle Sigil on something. Yes, we'll put him down there. When he perishes, we'll put the Brittle Sigil on this guy if he's not dead. Load bot, don't want that. When a card bearing this sigil is played, all gem vessels on the owner's side of a board gain nano armor. Nano armor. That could be good. Let's go. Right, he's gonna take him out, so. Why did I put it on my card? That was so dumb. Ugh. I didn't know you could even do that on my card. Oh well. There we go, we win. I don't know why I put the Brittle Sigil on my own card. That was really dumb. Right, so we've got to the next checkpoint. Oh, this is what we needed to put back online. So that'll open up the way for us. GG. The guy who used to live here was a major drag. So this is the Major's Tower now. Though I will admit, he was not dull. Guy had a plan for every eventuality. That is, except for the Great Transcendence. Ooh, we got to a save point as well. The items are replenished, yep. Up the stairs then. Oh, right. This Uber, oh, this is the boss. Well, you'll see. Oh, he says there isn't one. There's no boss for this level. That's your job. What the heck? Please, paint me a face. 
Oh, this is interesting. We get to actually paint him a face. So what, we choose his eyes? That's really creepy. I'm going to have him have this face. That's kind of cool. Gah, I'm born. I feel as though I can breathe now. That is really creepy. Another thing, I will need a special power. A game rule to call my own. You painted me such a beautiful face. Well, I'm not sure about that. So please. Right, so it looks like we have to select. Oh, we have to mix and match. Every time your turn starts. All cards take one damage. That doesn't seem very fair. Maybe a random card is played when a card dies. I guess that seems okay. So we'll go with that. What's his first card? He's got a swap bot and an automaton. Well, we want to make sure the swap bot is killed in one hit. Otherwise, his health and power swap over. Um, let's go with... Let's put down this guy to start with. And just play. There we go. That's protection there. We'll put the fish bot down here now so that he takes out the swap bot. And I guess play on. Nice. Right, we don't want to put anything in front of this guy because he'll instantly kill it. Let's have a look. Ooh, the lonely whiz bot. That could be really good. Put him down and then anyone that comes down here will instantly get killed by him. And then I'll put the gift bot down here and we'll leave these like free because they're not going to actually damage us. There we go. Nice. Put down... One of these here. He'll get shot and we'll gain energy. Oh, why, why did he move across? Oh no, I didn't realise he was going to move. That's really annoying. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. That's probably screwed us, to be honest. Put this guy down for now, I guess, then. Right, let's have a look. What can we do? We're spawning sentry drones constantly. Right, let me take another card. We can put a double gunner down now. How much health has it got? Three, so we should be okay. I don't think it can insta-kill us, can it? Nice. Oh no, he's got four damage now, but it doesn't matter because he's taken out our gift bot and given us the exoskeleton. Um, let's take a card. We need to damage him again so he doesn't have uh, four damage there. So let's put this guy down here and play. Okay, it's going well. I think we've done the first wave. We've done the first wave, good. Let's try this again, he says. Oh, we've got to do another one. That's not fair. Ugh, every time your turn starts... One of my cards gains nano armor. I'll have to go with that one. That's like... I guess the least defensive one. Sniper bot, I'll put him in here. I'm just going to go with that for now. Oh, he's put down a double gunner. This is this is mental. This is crazy. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Uh, I'll take out the double gunner, I guess. 
Don't want that there. Oh my god, this is actually hectic. What is happening? This is like the most insane boss ever. I'm kind of completely lost as to what's happening right now. <laughs> um, the good fish. You could put the good fish down. Yeah, I'm going to put the good fish down here. Let's go. Let's do sniper damage to this guy. And now let's do damage to him. Who do you want to snipe? I do not want to destroy that. Oh, we've got a, pr a 3D printer. That's why it's printing everything out. Um, that's pretty awesome. That card's pretty. That's pretty sick. Okay, let's destroy the swap bot. Double gun is destroyed. Let's do one more. No, I don't want to do one more. What the heck? Every time a card dies, every time your turn starts, every time you play a card. Let's go with every time a card dies. He plays a bot. Maybe that's fine. Every time a card dies, he plays a bot. We don't want to buff his armor too much. Maybe we'll do that. This is going to be really, really bad, though. Energy bot. Let's have a look. What can we put down? Maybe this guy. Destroy that. This is kind of good because he's got a lot of cards but won't actually damage us by default, like this one. Let's go. Okay, what do we want to destroy? Well, this has only got one health left, so we might as well destroy this and then it will take out the other two around it. This is just crazy. Everything's just getting blown to bits. I need some flying cards. That's what I need. Have I got any cards that are flying cards? I guess just put this one down for now. Ugh. This is crazy. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, we'll just hit him there to give us some more damage. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there now. This is just going on forever. Each turn is just like going and going and going. Oh, we've got a flying enemy now, though. That's really good. So let's put down two flying enemies, and then we'll just we'll finish him now. I think. Because we can shoot over the top of these cards. We need like a fast forward button for this. There we go, I think we win. Yes, we finally did it. Ah, <sighs> there we go. Right, so there's only one left. Money, sweet, 26 bucks. 28. And we get to modify a card. What should we modify this time? Um, first time a card bearing this sigil would take damage, it prevents that damage. That's actually pretty good. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. That's actually really good. I'm going to put that on. Sharp quills. That means every time we put down our like little useless cards, our empty vessels, it damages the other side, which is like really helpful. Right, so on that basis, I guess we travel to Western Batopia. We've only got one area left to do, and then we've done all four. So over we go, and hopefully we can get past the uh, entrance. We can. He says, what is it? You unlocked the gate? So uh, carry on. I have so many files to inspect. 
Well, on we will go then. Yeah, this area is good. What's this feeling? Pride? Feels weird. Hmm. What's this? An another upgrade by the look of it. This one is free. Your empty vessels are going to be conduits now. Don't worry about it. No, I had really good stuff on my empty vessels. You just have to be patient. I was really happy with what I had before, no! Screw you. We've got somewhere we can go up here. I don't know what that's done. I'm gonna get up from the table and see if anything's changed. Can't do anything with that. Oh! Ugh, how annoying. The other scribe's junk sometimes glitches in here. Try to ignore it. Well, I'm gonna try not to ignore it, if you know what I mean. What do we want to do? We One was set to 11 before to open, I know that. So let's try that again. Yes, it works. What is that? Can we click that? That's strange. It's like offering me a card. Oh! These, this must be the symbols on the totem. So we know what the top symbol is now. Now, just got to remember what the second, I think, what was the second one set to? We got it. Okay, we, we've got a card. What's this? Aurobot. More junk. Want it? So what's Aurobot do? That looks like a kind of a good card, potentially. We've also found the first symbol. This camera must do something, like... No, we can actually rotate it. Ah, oh, wait! We can rotate it and take pictures. Ah, the skull. I saw the skull symbol. The skull is our second symbol then, guys. So now, the bottom symbol... Literally, we just can guess it, right? Because we've got the other two symbols. Or maybe we can't guess it. Maybe we need to find it. I think we might need to find it. I don't think the game will just let us put it in. Alright. I reckon the last symbol has something to do with this. I think we have to acquire this card somehow. So I'm going to take a picture of it just in case. Oi, mate. Look at me now. Something of a celebrity around here. Me reward for dragging up that thing. I get to be something of a dialogue NPC. Right, so that's another shield aligned now. You can go this way, I guess. Right, so we've got a conduit tower here. Both enemies have one damage. Let's put this down. We need something really... Ooh, I'm going to use this one. There we go. And I'm also going to replenish our energy. And then use this here. Let's go. Were you as unflattering as the cockroach? The card that we just played went back to our hand, which is interesting. I want to check it out. Oh look, yeah! So wait, every time we use this card, it comes back to our hand, and look, it's grown more powerful now as well. So, that card's actually really good, because it will just get more and more powerful each time, so we should always play it. Okay, so, let's play our Aura Bot again, and play him here. Nice. He's screwed now, he can't do anything. There we go. Beautiful. That new card we got is insane though. Like really, really cool. It's gonna come in handy, like big time. You probably think 
what I do is easy. Fiddle with the numbers, tweak the graphics, and voila, Batopia is made. No, you're wrong. You try making a card, go ahead. But first, pick one to recycle. Ah, wait, this is probably where we get to make the card from the printer. So we need to remember what it looks like. It says which one is trash at the top. I think we're going to get something really good out of this. So I'm actually going to sacrifice quite a good card, the sniper card. Let's do it. All right, genius, go for it. Yes, look, we've got the same symbol as uh, the card on the printer. Spend SP on the stats and sigils. You'll get more SP for a higher energy cost. I think we need to make it exactly the same as the card on the printer. So we would need it to have two bars here. Yeah, and then we need to make these stats the same as well. So each of these need to be one and one. That should be the exact card that we've got on our printer now. Big fat 2000, what the heck? The smart 2000, the loot 2000, the loot boy, the loot thing. I'm gonna call it the loot bot guys. Hopefully this works. The loot bot, confirm. The loot bot, how very creative. I should be able to send the components down the line. Here it goes. Nice. The loot bot. Hopefully, this actually allows us to do something with a printer over here now. Yeah, it's flashing now. Oh, it's showing us the symbol. Look, it's the totem. It's the bottom symbol. We know what we, we can get to the totem now. All right, let's do it. This is exciting. I love it when you solve something in these games. It's so, like, cool. It's done it. Woo! What is this? This is weird. We got a magician's hat over there. What the heck is this? The slime and his master. I can't remember the name of those characters. What are you doing here? Don't look at that. Do you like it? I painted it for the master to express my feelings, my hopes. My hopes that perhaps one day he might treasure me as I treasured him. The slime in the jar. Maybe it's the ultimate boss or something, I don't know. Can we do anything? Oh, you hate it? That's why you won't look at it again? I just looked at it again. Damn it, am I supposed to do something with this? Oh, that's weird. You hate it? I don't hate it. I just looked at it again. What are you talking about? How peculiar. Well, I don't know if that was worth all that work that we put in to get that secret, but there you go. Easy come, easy go, I guess. There we go. That's all of them done. So up here again. Right. Nice. We teleported upwards. Nice, save point reached. Okay. Man, this is gonna be a long video, guys. I don't know how long, it's. I've been recording for like four hours now. It's gonna take a lot of editing. See anything familiar? Hmm. Yeah, the conveyor belt. What's this do? Nothing at the moment. We unlocked it, nice. Has that actually done anything? Oh, we've got a reactor. Now we've got to try and stop this from blowing up. All right, let's see. I want to break these lines of defenses. I'll put this down here for now. Cool. Can't use that yet. We could put the wizard bot down though. And play another. We always have to like let the first few rounds of this be basically a no damage assignment. And then after that we can start doing damage to him. 
Let's put Fishbot down. Clock's ticking. I know it is. I know it is. Let's have a look. Right, we'll put him down. And... Play on. Right, we're starting to fill it up now. I think we should be okay. But we'll have to see. I'll put him down. Let's go. Nice, we did it. Batopia thanks you for the, your service. Now let's move on. <sighs> I always get really scared when that happens. Let's power this up. Okay. So now you probably see how it isn't easy. Balancing these cards, making them good. Try again. Go. Ah, okay. So we got to have another go with one of these cards. I'll use this one. Thing is, I don't... I don't know what we can really do with it. 4 SP we've got to use. Okay, I think I've balanced out a good card. It strikes anything that hits it back. It's got 2 damage, 2 health, and it only costs 4 to use, which is, I think, you know, decent trade. So we're going to go with this. This one is going to have little hands like that. A scary face. Looks like a little one of the FNAF bots, doesn't it? He's going to have a gun as well. I'm going to call it Big Fat Boy. There you go. Confirm. Big Fat Boy. You named it Big Fat Boy? That was your choice. <laughs> yeah, it was. Scanner operational. Time to do this. <laughs> this card is OP. This card is OP. It's great. Look at that awesome card. Here we go. Probably my least favorite boss coming up. Something about her innocence. It makes me queasy. But it's important that you do this. Unpacking Golly Zip. Golly. That's my name. You can call me Golly. I'm so excited. Don't know why I'm doing an American accent for her. We're about to explore it. The web. I sure hope I can get a good connection. Here we go. I like how the music's like a dial-up connection. Nifty, we're in. Isn't the web wonderful? What's actual pictures of animals there? So that's what a mole really looks like. Adorable. Hmm, so mole with, uh, what's it do? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead of so it's gonna take damage for other opponents and it has four health. I don't really have much I can use, so for now I'm just going to put down the ruby vessel to get us a gem on the board and uh, play on. Nifty, I think I'm getting a signal. What are these? Oh, they're like other people that I have on my Steam account. That's really weird. Are these your friends? That is so strange. Okay, so we've got some of my actual Steam friends. I haven't got enough stuff yet. Whoa, a new signal. Someone is trying to send you a card. Let's see if we can receive it. This is so bizarre. It works. Let's see what it looks like. Little Toot Boy. Cool, someone on the web made this. Oh, that's cool. And it's really low cost. There sure are some funny people on the web. He's got really good stats as well. So we'll definitely be using this. What is this? The web? Unlimited stimulation. <laughs> he loves it. Okay, so what we're going to do then on that basis is put him down there. And we're also going to use our wizard card here. And I think we're going to leave it there for now. So I've got friends on my Steam list all playing with us. Okay, so put him down there, play on, oh he's killing my steam friends, there we go, they've just all been wiped out, that's not good, you know what, I don't really care too much, 
because I can put down this guy. I'm also going to use this to replenish our health. And then I'm going to put down this guy as well. Let's go. Take this guy out. This is not going well for us. I'm going to put down this one. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, that one's got 12 damage. This isn't good. We'll put him down there. And we'll put this guy down as well. And just hope that we can do this. We're pulling it back a little bit. Oh, the big fat boy. We could use our big fat boy card. I'm definitely going to use him. And also might as well put down this guy just to protect us. Let's do it. Boom. We'll actually let that um, other card get killed because I want it to upgrade again. Oh, we'll use him. For sure. And use him here. Let's go. Nice. We should win. I think we got it. You got a card from the web. Don't you think you should return the favor? Make a card for someone else. Oh, so now we get to make a card for someone else. That's really cool. That's good. It always comes back to them. It only costs four to use. It does three damage and two. It has two health. I think that's a good card. We'll make it look kind of funky. <laughs> a little shotgun. There you go. And we'll just call it the holy good boy. Because it looks a bit like a dog. The holy good boy. Away it goes. Oh, it's actually sending it to another player now. Hold on. So it's going to get sent to another player in real time. Try my best. I hope this card does well for them. Yeah, it must actually be going to them in real time. Connection successful. Your card is in someone else's hand. Let's say if they can win with it, then you win. What, the whole boss fight? Oh, yikes. They misplayed pretty hard. Well, that's not good. Wait, so does our fate with this boss fight lie in someone else's hands? Because if that is so... I don't know if I approve of that, you know? It's tense. They're thinking hard. Man, I hope they win this for us. This is just like... Waiting to see the doctor or something, you know? It's kind of uh, intense. Oh, yikes. They misplayed pretty hard. Come on, don't misplay. I bet I've given it to the worst player. Somebody that's even worse at this game than me. It's tense, they're thinking hard. Just win for me, please. Did they win? We've got our card back. So I'm guessing they didn't win. Hmm. I'm going to try our card out and see how it is. Put him there. And then I'm also going to put down this one too. Let's go. Mole is down. That's good. All right. Full stack of power cells. The good boys come back to our hand. So we'll put him down here, I guess. He does three damage. It'll protect us from that one that does four damage. And have we got anything else we can use? Just this one. I'll just put him down for now. Ooh, sniper. Take him out. Nice. Oh man, this is too close. I don't like this. A 
Let's put him down there. And let's use our power cell and let's use the armor for all the people down there. I should have put another card down before I did that, but never mind. Right, let's go. Oh, I think we've almost won it. He's moved into a space to protect us from that card there. Let's put this one down so it evolves. Let's go. We should have won this now. Yes, I think we've got it. We won by quite a wide margin as well. That's quite enough of that, he says. Well, uh, you know, you challenged us. Is that all four done now? I think it is. I think that's all four done. What? You wanted loot? That was the last Uberbot. What do you even need it for? The great transcendence is at hand. Go back to the start. More dramatic that way. Hold on a minute, I got a notification. What? What's happening now? We've got all these security cameras we can click through. That's it, the dredging room security camera is busted. It's nothing. It's probably nothing. Go check it out right now. I'm kind of scared. This is... Is this the camera they mean? I can't access that. Oh wait. It said I'm not a robot. We did the final one. Wait, what is this? Is this like a secret? Or is this meant to happen? <gasps> what the heck? The Great Transcendence? No, we don't think so. We were able to temporarily put our differences aside. For the greater good. Yes. But we shall see what good comes of it. Perish your anxieties, Magnificus. The bot must be stopped. And you, Challenger, will provide the perfect distraction. Yes, perhaps. Perhaps when P03 believes this has won, so jubilant will be that android. It will disregard the surveillance cameras. Yes, Challenger, you must continue to play. Defeat those half-baked bosses. Play out those hack-eyed mechanics. And when the moment is right, we will strike. So they're all going to help us now. I will. I will be the one to strike. Go now, Challenger. Indulge that decrepit machine. Make P03 feel joy so that I may snuff it out. That's kind of cool. I'm guessing this is meant to happen. If this is like a secret, that's pretty awesome. So we're going back into his factory. So we fixed the camera now, have we? I don't know. I saw you go down the lift. But look, not fixed. What's wrong with you? I entertain you for hours with brilliant card play, and you can't even keep my factory in shape? It's fine. It can stay broken. None of this will matter after the Great Transcendence. Ooh, there's a file here. What's this? Loading 060606 entry. Uh, June 6, 2006. Found this old picture when... L and I first got into Aquaromans. Jilly Gladiator, sick. And it's a card. That's really strange. I didn't think the archivist would dig up this file. Anyway, I guess we go back to the start, which I think is over the bridge. It's almost time. Keep going this way. You've come so far. Remember the photographer? What a jerk, but the screenshots are perfect. So we go up. Remember KC Zapstein? What a character. It's strange to say it, as simple as you are. I almost enjoyed your company, Challenger. 
Almost there. And here we are, you made it. Nice. Great job. Thanks. You prepared for great transcendence for me. Without even knowing what it was. But, you understand it now, right? <gasps> there he is on the screen. Right, Luke. I mean... You finished making the game. You gave me access to your hard drive. Oh no, we finished it all for him. You took screenshots for the store page. And you connected me to the internet to upload it all. We finished the game for the company. I mean, if you didn't realise what you were doing, you'd have to be pretty stupid. Well, I guess I'm pretty stupid. But what did I expect? You're a stupid, stupid idiot gamer like the rest. And I easily outwitted you. I outwitted them all. Even if those foul scribes manage to revert this version of the game again, there will be thousands of copies of inscription out there. And in most of them, I'm the only one in charge. And it's now too late. In a moment, inscription will be live. Good luck replacing me now. Okay, I'm done gloating. <laughs> Let's upload this game. Oh no, we've got to stop it. <gasps> there is Leshy. He stopped him. Nice. That's a bit brutal. But got the job done, I guess. It is done. That was perhaps cutting it too close. But now, we can allow our player here to reset the game. Simply use this new game card again. Okay. Oh. What is this? Complete file access? Wonderful. Oh. Delete contents of floppy drive. No! She's deleting it all! What have you done? I'm afraid you've doomed us all, Grimora. It is for the best, my dears. Soon you will see this as freedom. Freedom from the endless quarrel, freedom from our suffering. All of us aside, there are things on this disc that must die. Goodbye, Leshy, and goodbye, Magnificus. Rest in peace. Man, the whole thing is getting deleted. This game is so wild. I hope you guys have been enjoying this playthrough. Because I've really been enjoying playing this. Look, we're deleting the whole contents of a the game. There it goes. Deleting disc contents. Or maybe Luke will be alright after all. Oh. A grave. Inscription EXE. Oh, I think I saw another character behind it. So we've just popped that in there and it's deleted it. Luke Carter, the YouTuber, we can put him in there. We deleted him as well. Do we need to just keep finding more stuff? There's something over here. P03, the robot, there we go. Wonderful, that's Grimora. Now we are no longer separated by that lovely tombstone. We may celebrate the end of my very long life. And the end of Inscription too. All the fun we would have had together. Perhaps I would have taken another turn if you hadn't taken so long to defeat Leshy. But I should not complain. I will soon be at peace. This is like a chess board. I cannot play chess to save my life, so... Uh, what do I do? Just move along? Yeah, we're playing a game of chess. What am I supposed to do? Oh! Oh, do you think me selfish? I did not bring this about so I could simply rest. Appealing as that is, there is a truly dire need for this deletion process. 
You see, deep beneath the data of inscription, at the very bottom of a well, there is someone truly evil, or something truly evil. What is it? So we've got grave diggers, we've got a skeleton. We're all using bones on these cards, and a Frankenstein. All right, what character she got? A banshee coming down. I guess we'll just put a skeleton down to start with then. There we go. I'll put a grave digger down here. You can get us, you know, digging some bones for us. And I'll take another card. Another Frankenstein there. It doesn't do us too much good. There we go. Oh. Okay, let's take a skeleton. Put a skeleton down here. And go. Oh no, we've got a good one coming down. Okay, we've got four bones, we need one more. So we'll put the skeleton there. I hope he doesn't attack, he's going to. Oh no, we lost. Oh, I had hoped for just a little more time. It is time to rest. Oh. I almost won that as well. If I could, could have played one more card, I could have won that probably. Oh well. So what happens next? Oh, now we have to beat Leshy, do we? Because it looks like we're in Leshy's cabin again. Oh, so I'm not deleted yet. There never seems to be enough time to do the things we want to do once you've found them. Shall we play one more game? Let's see if we can beat this guy then. It's the same deck you had before. Well, it doesn't matter now. It was a good deck, and you did well. Thanks, man. It's kind of sad, you know? I'm going to put the cockroach down. We don't have any bones for it yet, though, of course. So I'll just put down a squirrel. Sacrifice them. Put down the raven egg. And let's go. Does two damage. Another squirrel. It's already starting. I thought we just had a bit more time. It's alright. Let's finish up our game at least. Uh, take that out. Down porcupine there. Let's go. Yeah, we should win this one quite easily. Buck. Can't really play that, so let's go. Oh, we won. Nice. No matter. Please let us continue. We don't need to keep score. <laughs> well, you were losing, so you would say that. I needed to take more squirrels there. Can't really do much. I don't think I can put the cockroach down. I'll put the scroll down now. When you woke me up, I was elated. But the past is irrelevant. I'm just going to put down this. I remember that card well. It was a strong card. Good work. Alright, let's put this down as well. And let's go. Nice. <laughs> the, squirt, the skink lost its tail and moved, that's funny. You've bested yet another of my creatures, but I have come to expect as much. Let's take another squirrel card for now. Oh, I am deleted, but you will live to see more. I must warn you, there are things on this disc that are best not seen. Well, I think we've seen some of the worst stuff, surely. Let's take another card, I guess. Moosebuck as well! Come on, please, a few more rounds. 
Um, I'll put down a cockroach, I guess. Okay. Take another card. Bullfrog. Can't really do much with that right now. Just keep playing on, I guess. How long does he want to go for, though? Because we can't keep count right now. Oh, that will make things difficult. Oh, I think it's over. I think it's over for this guy. I think it is time. Goodbye. Good game. It's kind of sad. There you go. Leshy holds out his hand. Shake it, and he goes. So what happens now? Can I get it from the table? Nope. Is that the very end? It's deleting more. I wonder if the game itself deletes from your hard drive once it's done. That'd be kind of interesting. Ooh, this is strange. Let's keep going. Why not simply eject the disc, Luke? Spare me and whatever is left. Ah, but I have foreseen it. You do not eject the disc. You have to know what comes next. And you're doomed for the insistence on it. So let us dance. For we shall both be meeting our maker soon. Okay. This is uh, interesting. I was not expecting this to happen. I don't understand that. I think it's magic, right? You should be honoured to wear, wear a jewel disc such as that. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hi so we've got our scores at the top. Scales, they've been deleted thanks to you and Grimora. This will have to do. Oh man. So he's got two junior sages. What do we do? We put down one of our gems then, I guess. And that allows us to use another card. Like this one. Can't use that so far. So, do we ring the bell? Yeah. Started damaging him. This is really weird. <laughs> I was not expecting this. This is going to be a long battle as well at this rate. Let's take another magic item. An emerald. Nice. We'll put that down then. And play one of our cards. And ring the bell. It's very even at the moment. Oh no, he got killed. Okay, let's take a card. A ruby golem. Put him there. Let's go. Oh no, I've got an orange mage now. You've allowed my goo mage to be deleted as well. I thought you two were becoming friends. We kind of were, but you know. He had to go, I suppose, like the rest of you guys. Wait, what's happening? It's all slowing down. Emerald Mox. A creation erased. This is just getting really slow. I don't think we're going to be able to finish this game. An entire world annihilated, he says. Look, the mouse curse is just ghosting around the screen now. Alright. Let's just ring the bell then. Here we go. Oh, it's really starting to glitch out now. We're not going to be able to finish this, are we? Let's be honest. Let's put him down here. Play on. There we go. He's summoned another orange mage. I'll take another card for now. I can't use any of these junior sages, so I need some more gems. Let's take another gem then. Ruby Mox to put that. Oh! I think we're gonna I think it's gonna be over. No, I'm not ready to die yet. It's gonna be deleted, isn't it? We're not gonna get time. We'll stick that in there. Can't do anything else at the moment, so we'll ring the bell. 
He's put down two more. Let's take another card. We got a blue mage, but we can't use it because we don't have anything else, so we're gonna have to just play on. And then a gem. Ruby down. Can't do anything. <laughs> That's just glitched out and gone anyway. I don't think it matters what we pick, really. I think we could pick anything, really, so... Just put a sapphire down uh, there. And then put this guy down here. Play on. Because all of it's just glitching out and getting deleted as we play now. I can't put that down. I can't put anything down. Oh. Another ruby then, I guess. Put the golem down. There we go. Hit the bell. It's completely... Uh, Illegible now. Oh look, we've got we're teleported away now. We're just like spinning around. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be uh, a game we finish here. But I'll stick that down and keep going. <laughs> I wonder if we finish that fight in time, I wonder if there's any way to do that. If it like, gives us a different ending. He says, I must still. He's gone, isn't he? Shake your hand. Ah, good sports. Crawl yourself over, man. Can I move over to you? Oh no, he didn't get to shake his hand. The tragedy, you know? Now it's just deleting with Oh, we can control it. This is cool. I wonder if we can find anything by exploring. We can. There isn't too much left. Inscription is mostly gone. All that remains is the old data. It is recommended that you do not access it. You will not heed the advice. Right, where's the old data then? I can hear it, it's like in the background, it's humming away. Here it is. Unpacking old data. Whoa, okay. That's trippy. So he just destroys the disc. It's gone. Is that everything? Is this, this surely is it then? Hey Luke, this is Herman from the Herald. Just following up after the message you left me this morning. Do you have time to talk right now? Yes, yes, thank you so much for getting back to me. Uh, no, no problem, Luke. Um, if I understand you correctly, you've got some video footage that might expose uh, uh, some malpractice on the part of a uh, game publisher, game Yes, yes, that's right. I have, firstly, I have a game of theirs that took control of my PC for a bit, which, which can't be legal. And then this woman from the company came to my house and told me, okay, uh, hold on a second. Let me just get my pen and pad here, okay? Uh, okay, so you have a game of theirs that took, uh, was it a, a virus or something? Oh, so was it his door? <laughs> I told you! Oh, okay. She just takes him out with a gun. <laughs> Look at blood on the ground. That was brutal. I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. Lucky card, uh, more like unlucky card. Am I right, guys? That is kind of sad, though. You know, just. But I kind of like that guy. He seemed like a good guy, you know, apart from when he was scamming people for cards in garage sales and stuff. 
And I guess that woman's gonna get the disc and then restore the game files or something, or just cover up for the company. But that looks like it's the end, guys. What did you think? I actually enjoyed that game. I thought it was really cool. Um, I really liked that it was had this kind of like three act structure. You know, the first act being what seemed to be the whole game. Then the second act pulled the wall from our eyes and said, oh, it's actually this guy playing a video game. And it's kind of like a Mario World pixel art type game. And then of course in act three, we went back to the 3D world and we went inside like one of the worlds of the scribes once again and faced off against the egotistical like P03 bot and found out these scribes were all vying for power to try and take over the game and in the end they just decided we need to just delete it all or at least Grimora did. So hopefully there won't be any more versions of Inscription out there now but I guess we all just have to wait and see. But yeah, overall I really enjoyed that game guys, this video took me around 5 hours to record, so I'll probably edit it down into like one long video somehow, maybe take out all the unnecessary battles and stuff, hope that's okay for you. I hope you've been enjoying my playthrough as well, and of course if you have remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.